After being passed almost a year ago, residents are still waiting for the new Central Fire Station to be built. Welcome to another episode of Senior Living. I'm Natalie Nako. Be picked from the roots, placed into a plastic bag, and thrown into your waste receptacle. We explain how new businesses opening up in Meridian has played a large part in the township winning this award. Bringing the township closer to 100% occupancy there have been major factors in people driving away in a new car. Here construction has already started. Behind me is where 10 new buildings, a tennis court, basketball court and a pool will be. We continue our three-part business series next week as we take a look at opportunities for entrepreneurs in the township. If the animal is sick when it comes in, they'll nurse it back to health and euthanasia is always a last resort. Some residents are curing loneliness with the companionship of a furry friend. Now these properties may go to public auction by the Ingham County Treasurer. But before we go into the interview, let's learn a little more about the topic. Yeah, I'll take two pounds of water. You know, we see an opportunity to provide a new product for uh, the people in the area and uh, you know expand what we're doing. Entrepreneurs like Russ Allen of the Shrimp Farm Market played a role in Meridian Township being identified as one of eight top performing communities in Michigan. Because of the township's entrepreneurial growth and economic development they were awarded the East Cities Award from U of M Dearborn and were also recognized as a four-star community. Other communities will look at what we're doing and um, try to incorporate some of the things we do and other communities do to improve their own. Opening its doors almost seven years ago, the shrimp farm market was Michigan's first taste in shrimp farming, raising up to 400 pounds of shrimp each month. With the experience of having his own market and also selling at the farmer's market, Alan learned who his customer base was and soon found out they wanted more. I expand what we're doing out from just shrimp to you know, include all kinds of, of different seafood. And our focus um, in this market will be promoting the use of U.S. farm-raised seafood products. The shrimp farm market is currently run out of this building here, but will soon be closed to the public, but will remain open as a growing facility. The market will be moved to this storefront here on the corner of Grand River and Dolby Road. The name will be changed to Farm Fresh Seafood. Farm Fresh Seafood will not only have Allen shrimp, but also farm-raised seafood shipped in from all over the country. The store will be complete with a commercial kitchen to prepare items that have been developed at the shrimp farm market. There's shrimp burgers and a shrimp ceviche and shrimp salad and all those kind of things. So we'll have that, you know, for sale on the market. Farm fresh seafood is expected to be complete before Christmas. Under the shady trees of many parks in Meridian Township, the native plants are in competition with invasive plants to keep their home. If not controlled, an invasive plant species can move into a natural area, dominate, and take over. They have become a problem because there are not any insects or animals that will eat them. There are more than 30 different types of invasive plants that are being tracked in Lake Lansing Park North. Some of the biggest culprits are garlic mustard, dame's rocket, autumn olive, and Japanese barberry. Even in a natural area these days, you kind of have to maintain it the way you do your yard and constantly pull these bad things out of it. Many of these invasive plants have been brought into the parks because of improper dumping of yard waste, alien gardening plants, and birds dropping seeds. Certain invasive species like dame's rocket and garlic mustard have a special way that they need to be disposed of. According to a Michigan law, they must be picked from the roots, placed into a plastic bag, and thrown into your waste receptacle. So the question is, why should residents care so much about protecting the native plant species? The species that we have on Earth are our heritage. And you just never know when some obscure plant nobody ever cared about turns out to be the source or inspiration for a fantastic molecule that might be important to medicine or industry. Each year of pulling these invasive species out of the parks and disposing of them properly helps to have less invasive hot spots for years to come. In Meridian Township, Natalie Nako, Home TV.